I had so much fun with this movie. I mean, especially for RTU as a kid, like this seems like a dream movie where you can just do things to people and not get in trouble for it. Yes, I do enjoy inflicting pain on other people. <laughs> two in particular. <laughs> two particularly. The, is that English? We're, we're teaching him English at the moment. Um, <laughs> yes, both of them are good versions of the sentences. Okay. When you read the script, was there any of these, any of the things that you do to these two individuals? Or was, were there any that you were most excited about getting to do to them? most excited for was probably it had to be shooting rob with um a pool ball in terms of like the the most high hype i had for mm -hmm. some of the scenes it had to be shooting rob with a pool ball cannon yeah because i i felt like i was like uh, this professional hitman <laughs> with my shotgun <laughs> six six rounds and then Rob had like this disgusting makeup on with the boil and he would just walk around that all the time and it was really yeah, hard it it to looks have a like, conversation with him. It, was it looks disgusting. like a really bad case of Dr. Pimple Popper. Oh, it's re it was really disgusting. Um, so that was an odd, an odd day at work. Yeah. Ashley, what was it like for you to work with Archie and find that bond as, you know, playing his mother in this? Like, how, how, did you guys find that really quickly? Yeah, I think it was quite easy, actually. We got along straight away very well. Um, he's um, drinking water now, which is a classic sign when an actor doesn't want to answer a question. <laughs> um, yeah, what is your question? I think it, it was a giant honor for him to get to work with me. So, you know, he was really excited and sorry, you were drinking your water. So I, I filled in what you would have said. Um, mm. But yeah, we got along straight away. And I think that's really important in any acting dynamic where you're playing something where you have to quickly establish that there's a relationship already, whether it's um, a romance or a marriage or mother and son or whatever it is, that you want the audience to believe that this isn't two actors meeting for the first time. So that made it a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, obviously you want the audience to get a little teary eyed when they finally get, you know, are able to get back together and reunite. Yeah. And it definitely made me a little bit teary eyed when, you know, Aww. understanding what this mother had to go through to get back to her son. Christina Radish, I don't ever want to make you cry. But I'm <laughs> I did in the right way. Well, Archie, I mean, your first movie was Jojo Rabbit, and it's been a little bit of time since then. So do you feel different as an actor now? What what is it? What was it like to do this experience for you? Do you feel the responsibility of leading a movie? So, uh, I have matured a lot since Jojo Rabbit, and it is, the roles are, like, maturing with me. So, like, now that I'm turning into a teenager, pretty soon, like, February. The clock comes like this. Brr, brr, brr. <laughs> we're both Pisces. Yeah. But Pisces it, gang. Pisces. How did it feel when you were first acting in Jojo Rabbit? Was everything like, It Whoa. was, I was, like, blown away, nervous, mm. excited all at the same time mm. and um like I'm, I'm gradually getting more used to it now yeah i feel with every single role that i do and i'm just so happy that i get to try out new things now that i've done two comedy films i want to start trying out drama maybe action maybe horror maybe maybe burping. tragedy maybe burping maybe burp <laughs> <laughs> That was one of his accents. That was him pretending to be in Star Wars. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like now that you're, you know, part of the Disney family, you can, they, they need to make you a superhero at some point. Yeah, nice. I mean, I think- I, I, have probably... the I have the natural superhero curl whenever my hair isn't done up. That's so true. You have Clark Kent naturally. You could be a young Clark yeah. Kent, Superman. Take off your glasses. Absolutely no idea who he is. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. It's unbelievable. Put them back on. Incredibly transformative. Incredibly transformative. <laughs> laser eyes. Yeah, as in he's gonna get laser eye surgery so he doesn't need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> well, Archie, this, this character is 
mischievous and he's resourceful. Do you feel like you are both of those things yourself? Do you feel like you're one more than the other? Do you feel like you're neither of those things? Um, resourceful, guess so, yeah. Um, mischievous, not so much. I, curious, <laughs> yes. I but don't like, know. You, you're rebranding yourself I know when, as curious. I know when I can do things that get me into trouble and don't do them. Yes, that's fair. He's a he's a very good kid, but you're uh, also collecting lots of like science data yes. for explosions and stuff like that at the moment. Like the Mentos and Coke thing was a big thing. Manganese hip toxide. Manganese hip toxide. Hep. 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 Tox. Tox. Eyed. Eyed. Hep toxide. Hep toxide. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's harder to do science than you think, apparently. <laughs> Ashley, what was it like to do some of these big, loud, chaotic family scenes? I mean, there are a lot of people in some of these moments. Yeah, yeah. Those, those feel like um, there's the obvious moments that are uh, nods to the first movies thematically, but actually from, um, from a shot point of view, something like following a child's eyes around the family and the Christmas noise and the travel. That's a real, um, I think, cinematographically, that's quite a big homage to the first movies and sort of be part of that. Like, they're the ones we all, we all remember is being brought around a house and discovering all the characters through a child's eyes with the camera following them. So that was always, it was always just a bit nerve wracking that, you know, when the camera came round and you're sort of ready for your bit that you don't go oh, and look down the camera by accident and then the whole thing's ruined. <laughs> but um, those things were really nice to do as a, 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 as a collaboration with all the different moving parts. It's quite fun because it keeps it a little bit fresh and live on set. Yeah, those kind of scenes seem a little bit scary too because if one thing is off, it sort of ruins yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, if someone just sort of turns around and goes, ah, you know, the whole thing needs to be redone. So, mm. or if you forget there... your line or something like that, you don't want to be that guy. <laughs> Was there a lot of like line. cracking up on this set? Were there, were there a lot of laughs during takes? When, when we were doing that particular scene, actually, Pete Holmes's character is, asking the, the oh, what do you call it, the home computer, like voice Homebot. Siri, Homebot. And he did loads of different versions of it. Um, and that was really funny. So every time he'd just like do a new it. So we'd all slightly be waiting, half in character, half of ourselves to see what Pete Holmes would say this time around. Well, thank you guys for talking to me. You are delightful in the movie. You are delightful just together there. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank I'm you. gonna name a character in one of my next writing projects after your surname. So if you see Radish pop up, that is absolutely I, I my will favorite know surname it was, I've ever heard. I will know it was all thanks to this moment. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks so, so much. much.